Right? I did that right away at the casinos. It's their story, and that's the way they read it. Okay, so if we wanted to have a performance of the Gospel of Mark, for uh, most of us in this room who have white skins and live in majority, uh, you know, white culture, uh, how would you arrange the room, and who would you have perform it? Maybe a person of color be the performer, woman maybe, uh, and the first few rows would be people of color, third row, and so forth. And then around the outside, listening in, eavesdropping on the story, not, not written for us, would be, would be people like me. I'm just playing with the, the text here, but you know, we can, we can uncomplicate this a little bit and go back to, let's just take the whole story as a story. So here, I'm back now here to, 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 to the church and so forth, and suggesting the story can do some of the heavy lifting for us. What if you read that whole story and then just had a discussion about it? Or, or the authority figure is simply the scribe up here at the board. That's what I used to do in class. I just, I would, I would just describe at the board, and the, and the students would start tossing out what they saw in the story. Except I was a scribe to the scheme, right? <laughs> and I had the, I had the story, the plot running along, which you could do, and uh, you know, setting at the top and. And then just happened when the name, when the when the scribes and Pharisees came up, put them up here, and when the high priest came up, put them up here, and uh, when the, you know disciples came up, put them along in the middle, and when women came up, put them just a little bit underneath, uh, and when villages came up, you know, put them along here. That's where the you know the people were living. To, if you you follow me, so we're setting the notes up according to what is the dominant conflict in the story. That's the dominant plot. Is uh, Jesus doing a renewal of the people over against the rulers of the people? Uh, and, and pretty soon, you know, just the students were just doing it themselves, pulling this out. And, uh, and then, we, then we could just almost start to visualize it, see it, feel it, and they, and they, got, the, they, they, they got the dynamics of it. It's, it is a political story. It's also a religious story, but it's very clearly a story of political conflict. Uh, man, that just... See, I was slow. <laughs> I'd been teaching for 20 years before it occurred to me to do this. Uh, uh, but once it, once, it, once it did it, it just, it just happened without me having anything to do with it. Has anyone published the Gospel of Mark about versus paragraphs? Yeah, there, there, there's probably five or six out there. Uh, I don't know where. I intended to, to put the text in my Mark book in, in, uh, in 2001, and I just didn't do it. But see, better yet would be to put it on a DVD. Yeah. You know, that would be better yet to have a performance in the dust jacket of a book. Yeah, Annie. I was going to say, you can, you can go to some of the Bible online, uh, like Gateway or so, and then pick your choice and have it translation. And then it asks you, do you want the uh, verse and chapter? And just unclick verse, verse it defaults to verse and chapter, unclick that, and then you can print it out as narrative. You say it's gateway? Gateway, I think, yeah. You might have to fiddle with that yeah. a little bit, but you'll Bible. Bible gateway. Bible, Bible gateway, gateway. Yeah. yeah. And then you pick your translation, yeah. and then you choose whether you want those. The message has yeah. the vision is over there versus this. Yeah. Now, we haven't yet stopped talking about empire. <laughs> No, we, we, we haven't used the word for a while. Uh, we're, we're talking about reading the gospel. We're talking about taking the gospel whole. Uh, you know, try, try that one. I'm thinking now of an American more conservative uh, audience, you know, four square gospel. You know, you've got to take that gospel whole. Take the whole thing. And hear the whole thing. Um, um, okay, all this stuff just starts to happen. This starts to happen. Now then, it would be possible to do some things with this. Now, uh, U.S. Let's see. Did the Lutherans go along with the common common lectionary? Yes. The, the, okay. So Episcopals, New Tulsa, so Methodist, Presbyterians, Baptists, so forth, go along. With it. And so it's a three-year cycle: Mark, John, and Matthew. Those three. Okay. So the Mark year. Okay, what about taking the Mark year? Uh, 
you know, might do a little preparation for this in October, November. At least in New England, there's a lot of dark months. You know, how about Norway? You know, a lot of dark months. <laughs> do people get out in Norway? Come, come, to come to meetings? Yeah, okay, okay. So, isn't that a good time for a lot of performance? And that's why we have a lot of theater in Seattle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a lot of, a lot, it's, it's a lot of theater. Sure. Yeah. sure, a lot of theater, a lot of church suppers, a lot of fellowship, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of give and take and talk about, talk about the gospel story. Now, see, I, I, I get this idea from ministers I've done workshops with. And they started saying, oh, yeah, we did, we did that in, uh, you know, starting with, with, with Advent, you know, in December, <coughs> January, and so forth. And pretty soon they could see their whole year of preaching, religious education, and church activities flowing out of that as they worked with the Gospel of Mark one year and then, you know, another Gospel another year and so forth and so on. Well, this is just, uh, I, I never taught the theological seminary except as migrant labor for a while, so Harvard Divinity School isn't really a good theological seminary, so I don't really know what I'm talking about, but these are, these are ideas that have come from, uh, from uh, ministers who've thought about this a little bit. And, see, this, we, we then just come along and the, and, and the people involved see it themselves. Oh yeah, the temple isn't just a religious institution. It's the center of the, it's the, center of the economy. Uh, uh, wait a minute, I thought Passover was celebrated in the family. Oh, yeah, it was celebrated up, up in uh, Jerusalem. And what are the Roman soldiers doing? Up on, well, you can throw in a little tid, tidbit of information that's not in the Gospel. See, this is from Josephus and from my books. Oh yeah, the Roman soldiers are up there on, 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 the, on the top of the temple, looking down on this celebration, uh, and, and you know the people tend to get upset about this. And of course, it's pretty clear who's crucifying Jesus. Uh, and you know, so we can start to talk about this, start to talk about this, and start to fill in the the, uh, the context. Now, let's go. Let's go another step. Villages, <laughs> Gospel of Mark, uh, true Gospel of John too. Uh, where does Jesus go? First, exorcism. Into the village of Capernaum. In fact, he goes into the, it's translated synagogue, but not, it means assembly. Into the local bi-weekly meeting. The assembly of the people, in, where they're all gathered there in a community meeting. It's like the congregation is gathered together. And again and again and again into villages. And then he goes across the frontiers into other villages. So this is almost like an international, inter-people, not international, nation states are honored. Inter-people movement. It, it expands, it goes across the boundaries of uh, Israel. Villages, villages, villages. Where did everybody live in ancient times? <laughs> villages. When I, where I grew up, where did everybody live in a small town? Well, except you know, for Seattle. But, uh, you know, Silverdale, since some of you from out there, you know, Silverdale, Paul's Bow. A bunch of Norwegians, uh, Swedes in Paul's um, uh, Everybody lived in a small town, and the, and the church was often the, the, the community center too. Uh, so there's some there's some memories and some analogies of these things. And in the gospel, if we take the gospel word for it rather than the scholars word for it, <laughs> we see the context of life, uh, and we and we can start to see, oh yeah, it's villages over against over against the temple. Who appoints the high priest? <laughs> they weren't elected. <laughs> you know, the Romans appoint those guys. Um, and you know, you can see right in the gospel, Caiaphas and Pilate work hand in hand. Uh, it, 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 it's all there in the story if we, if we just look. Now let me shut up. <laughs> and you all come back, uh, you know, thoughts and response to, you know, such ideas of letting the, letting the, letting the,